I started playing music with my stepfather, who was a gypsy, French gypsy, we say uh, Manouche. Um, I started to play a little bit the guitar when I was 16, but um, just from time to time. And then uh, at the age of uh, 18, I started to uh, incorporate a group, a dancing group, uh, to play uh, on the weekend to do some gigs, dancing gigs. And I was playing at the guitar, on, and also I was playing a little bit the bass. And then, um, little after little, I have started to like playing the bass. And then, of course, I discovered Jacob Astorius and at the age of uh, 20, I have decided to be serious uh, with music and I, um, I, I have sold my guitar and I started to play the bass at this age. I know it's a, it's a bit late and um, at this time I was thinking all my heroes that I was listening um, on records. At, the, at my age, they have already uh, re revolutionized the music world, like Jaco Pastorius, <laughs> Pat Metheny, Tony, Tony Williams, and all the, those great musicians. So I was thinking I have no chance. My only uh, chance is to work like crazy. And I, I decided to to really work my instrument. And um, I remember sometimes I'm, I was working 10, 10, 15 hours a day just to try to reach a certain level, just to approach the, the guys that I was listening, the, the recording that I was listening. The first amplifier that I used at this time, I remember it was in um, 79, beginning of the 80s. Uh, it was a Roland cube, Roland. Uh, do you know this, the color was orange? And I remember them the sound was not so good, not too precise, but it was okay because uh, for me this amp was uh, small and very light to carry. So I did not know that uh, years later I would have in my rig some Mark Bass amp that was really light, but with a, with a real sound for bass player. So it was a Roland, the, my first amp, Roland um, Cube, 60 watts, something like this. Not much. I can say uh, it was in uh, 1987, when I I joined the big band, a French big band uh, called um, Big Band Lumière, uh, with Laurent Cuny was uh, the, the director, but we had um, Gil Evans as conductor and we have played the music of Gil Evans. Uh, it was the most exciting moment, musical moment for me, because it was the first time that uh, I participated to a big band with such great uh, written music, with some great musicians, French musicians, and some Italian musicians, but um, with the arrangement of Gil, Wow, it was uh, something, it was like a shock for me to just to play a bass part 
and to listen all the horns player and the harmony etc so it was a great moment and the second one it was um, one year later no i can say uh, one year before sorry it was in uh, 1986 uh, I had been called by Didier Lockwood, the violin player, great musician, to join the band with Gordon Beck on piano and uh, Kim Plainfield on drums. And we did a couple of gigs together. But it, it was a great, exciting moment for me to play with such great musicians that I, I was listening to. I can say that my most important musical collaboration uh, was uh, when I joined the John McLaughlin uh, trio with Trilla Gortu uh, in uh, 1990. Uh, it was a turning point in my musical career. Back then, I was a part of a real band and I had a role to play as a accompanist, a soloist player, and um, yeah, it was like a dream playing with those great guys and touring all around the world in great venues. Yeah, it was really interesting to to work on the repertoire and to work together and to to have a lot of challenges and a lot of, of new thing for me to learn and to play so yes it was definitely the the most important uh, thing in my musical career and i can i can say the second one when when i played with uh, berry lagraine with Dennis Chambers, we we had a band called Front Page, and uh, we have been uh, recording a CD, and uh, we had we have been touring uh, in Europe, in France and Italy, etc. So it was, but the first one was the most important one. The first time I have seen a Mark Bass amp, as far as I remember, it was in the early 2000. It was in uh, Nancy, France, in a music school called the uh, Music Academy International. And I remember uh, they have provided an, an amp in a classroom for the teacher in order to teach. And um, I remember I I plugged my bass into this amp and immediately I was amazed by the the sound that uh, went out from from this amplifier and then um, I was thinking wow this is the 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 sound that I I have in my head you know I could hear all my my stuff all my notes very precisely so I remember it was in this school in Nancy. I use all kinds of um, Mark Bass amps. Um, I have been using so far the multi amp as a head. Um, I like also to use the little Mark Bass uh, tube 500. And um, one head that I use a lot is a Nanomark 300 that I can take very uh, easily in my suitcase when I travel. Like this, I have always my, my son with me. And also as a um, cabinet, I use the Mark based uh, Traveler 102 or I like also the New York uh, uh, 151. 
And uh, as I told you before, uh, I'm always uh, willing to use any kind of uh, mark base amp that is uh, provided for me in a venue. The thing that makes uh, mark base so special uh, for me is um, several things. I can say the, the products. Uh, we can feel that um, they are musicians uh, at the service of musicians. Um, yes, they are always improving, try to improve their material to serve more uh, all the, the needs of musicians on the road on stage, at home. And um, when you plug into a Mark Bass amp, you can see that it has been made for musicians, by musicians, by musicians, yeah. And also, uh, what is uh, really important is the relationship that we we have developed through the years. It's a collaboration. It's a partnership. And, and it, it's also um, a community. We are all friends and we, we meet uh, together from time to time. And uh, there is a warmth. There is a... a I feel that uh, I'm a person, I have a personal relationship. I'm not just a number in Mark Base. They know that uh, I am different, we are all different, and with different needs, different playing, different uh, playing, different voices in the music world. So I like that. So I, I'm really grateful to Marco Di Vergilis and Ricardo Damiani for this collaboration that uh, now it's been quite a few years. So once again, um, I'm really happy to be a part of this uh, community. <laughs>